vloggy what is up welcome welcome back i'm all packed literally going to new york city for one night packed a freaking entire suitcase but what else is new i have a little bag with all like my electronics and i just packed like an outfit for today tonight and tomorrow and toiletries and purses and different outfits so i just wanted to bring a suitcase okay but it is Meg Honey's birthday today. We're going to the city to meet up with her and her friends. We're going to Above It All at the DL. It's like such shitty weather out, but we're going to make the most of it. We might do something tonight depending on how we feel. And then tomorrow my sister and I are going to have like a little Soho day. It is 9 o'clock right now. We're going to go get coffee. And then we have to catch the ferry at the waterway. And fit check is so bad. I'm wearing stride sweatshirt, sweatpants, blazers because I'm so tired. But then when we get to the hotel, I'm going to actually get ready. I just need to really straighten my hair. I was going to get a blowout last night, but only my sister was able to make an appointment. And I asked if they could do me, but they couldn't. It's fine. So I'm just going to straighten my hair myself. But my hair dries really weird. It dries really frizzy, so that's why I wanted to blow out so I didn't have to worry about my hair. But it's okay. Enough rambling. Let's go to the city. I'm so excited to see Megan. Literally, I'm gonna, I literally was going to say I haven't seen her in forever, but I literally saw her. At alumni weekend but we're so used to living together so yes and also her friends and like her brother are gonna be with us so i'll get them in the vlog and it's just gonna be an overall really fun weekend and next week is rolling loud finally got my outfits in and the weekend after that i'm going to texas so subscribe for those vlogs but i haven't got my wristband in for texas yet but i got my wristband in for rolling loud the texas ones are shipping i tried to track it today but usps like wasn't working but it's okay Let's go to New York City. sweatshirt and sweatpants and I'm still cold and my outfit for today is a dress. What's your outfit for today? It's a dress. So we'll update you if you get hypothermia. I'm sure oh, we'll no. be fine though because there'll probably be a lot of people so the body warmth and just like I'll probably be cold at first but whatever. I'll show you guys the view it's really pretty. <laughs> I just wanted to pop in here and do a little unboxing for you guys with the company I'm working for on this video. I am so excited when they reach out to me. I've seen their bags kind of all over Instagram. My friend, I remember Rachel, if you're watching this, um, she posted a picture of the bag she has from them. It's like a shoulder bag and it was white snakeskin. It was so cute when I saw that. I was like, oh my goodness. And then they reach out to me and I knew I had to work with them. Um, the company is Sinbono. They basically give me like Bottega Veneta vibes. I will talk more about them in a second. I'm going to do like an unboxing and show you guys the bag that they sent me. I am actually obsessed with it. It is perfect for fall, perfect for winter. There's so many different colors to choose from and styles. And obviously I majored in fashion in school. And what is really important to me is like learning about where the company like sources their materials and what it's actually made out of. And all of their handbags are vegan leather handmade, which is so cool and so dope that they're like taking the time to source these certain materials and not just do things kind of like fast fashion companies do, which is get like the quickest and cheapest textiles that they can. They're actually kind of like a new founded designer brand. They were founded in 2020, so fairly new to the industry. They've also been featured in British Vogue, which I think is so dope for a company that just started in 2020. And I think it was because like their company is so 
like kind of going towards like eco-friendly materials and sourcing those kind of materials for their production yes they have like four different handbags the one i chose was the drawstring handbag they also have the fiona sorry i'm just reading this off my phone they have the fin fiona which is a shoulder bag the amelia which is a shoulder bag and then the case which is a crossbody bag so i chose the um drawstring handbag and out of i'm just going to talk about this particular bag um i chose the maroon brown color because i literally thought it was perfect for fall because it is it's like the perfect mix of like not too brown and right now they're actually having a fall and winter sale so that's really cool maroon brown the like i guess it's the regular size and i'm gonna show you guys how they like package it and everything so it comes it kind of looks like a shoe box but i feel like this is what a lot of handbags come in especially even if you get like designer ones it just says their um brand name on the front it's a simbono it's a little um dent in the corner but it literally came from asia so it is okay <laughs> it comes with a dust bag with their company logo on it simbono and there's nothing else in here it just comes with a little bit of tissue paper and guys i'm so excited to show you this bag it is absolutely stunning it is a maroon brown color with gold hardware it is perfect you can wear it on your arm like this or as an actual shoulder bag it's super cute for like dinner um if you're just running like errands you could do like an all black outfit with like a white turtleneck sweater and the inside has a ton of space and you could easily like fit your phone your wallet your keys if you're gonna run errands or i would a hundred percent wear this to dinner because it'd be so stinking cute to um sit on the table and this um piece actually can come off and you could just wear it as like a clutch so this is probably the most perfect bag for the fall and winter season i will have a link down below along with a discount code let me know what bag you guys end up choosing or if you browse any bags i want to chat with you guys about their products so comment down below if you like choose any bags buy any bags what kind what color want to chat with you guys but yes thank you so much to simbono for sending this over i'm so happy to work with you guys spread the word about vegan leather handbags and sustainability emerging in our fashion system and let's get back to the vlog how that was saying vloggy i need to like rapidly straighten my hair but it is disgusting so that's good i'll like be ready before megan and her friends get here because i don't want to be getting ready while they're here but strainer i use is remington they have this like you guys live in the tri-state area and you have a harman's near you i literally think i got it there but my hair is really frizzy so i have to straighten it in super small sections, it'll probably take me around 20 minutes, I want to say, and then my makeup literally takes me 5 minutes. But then, I'm going to show you guys the new skincare products I just got from Sephora. I got this Herbivore Aquarius Clarity Cream because I used to use the Fresh Rose Moisturizer in the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, and it started breaking me out, so I'm like, maybe my skin's allergic to like fragrance. Um, so I got this and it's been working so well and then I got this Claudie grape water to spray as like a toner Obviously my dossier perfume And this is my makeup bag. I literally just use Fenty Beauty, Smashbox Primer, Too Faced Concealer I use like Rimmel Stay Matte still as my powder because it's so good And then I literally just do my brows, put on a little bit of lip gloss and we'll be good for the day and I'm excited about my outfit, you guys. It's so cute. It's kind of from Shein and like Zara. But our hotel's really nice. We're staying at the Fairfield Marriott at in the Lower East Side because my parents say you stay with Marriott a lot and my mom has like seven free night vouchers and she just got back surgery so she's not able to go on vacation. But I think we're trying to save a, some of those for when we want to go on vacation all together when she's recovered and like when COVID's not really bad but she called and said we can use 
one of these vouchers so we got a free night here which is just so much easier because I love going to the city and especially if I'm going to be drinking all day I don't want to navigate through Penn Station intoxicated because I've done it once and I literally probably almost got on the wrong train I'm going to straighten my hair right now and then I'll show you guys like my makeup process and then probably by that time Megan and her friends will be here Okay, well, yeah, I just finished my hair. My sister's sleeping, so I'm keeping my straightener plugged in so she can, like, touch it up in the back because I can never freaking reach that. But, yeah, this is good as it's gonna get. Now I'm gonna do my makeup. I always start with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation. I only do it if I'm, like, going out for the night and my makeup's gonna be on for a while, and it will be, so do this. And then I go in with my Fenty Beauty Foundation. I love this because it's very light, but it is full coverage, and then I always do a little bit of the... Too Faced for the Sway Concealer. <laughs> I still use their Rimmel Stay Matte because this is my like tried and true Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer for a little. But, oh my god, I forgot my highlighter. Okay, but I use this blush so it has sparkles in it. It's Too Faced. Too Deep Fruity is also good. Then I use this Morphe Dip Brow for my eyebrows. It's basically like the Anastasia. And then Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. Okay, I just did my foundation and concealer. Now I'm putting on the Rimmel Stay Matte. Guys, the last time I put makeup on was literally alumni weekend because I don't wear makeup to work because we have to wear a mask. So I'm like, there's no point. Jackie. Oh, the vlog is already there. I already took a power nap because I had to work till 1 a.m. Are you getting drunk today, Corey? That's a stupid question. I'm. I'm off antibiotics. Megan, I'm buying all your drinks. Eric Venmo me forty dollars. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I was I was in question like ten dollars, like um vloggy. Literally drinking an angry orchard. Shout out Brianna Chicken Fry, you put me on. But fit check. Dress is literally from Shein. It's so cute and it's so flattering on it's literally like t-shirt material shoes literally from Marshalls earrings Amazon and then this little guy from Zara to tie in the fall lives I can't tell if it goes or not but I like it so I'm gonna bring it it'll fit vloggy perfectly and all like my wallet my vaccine card and everything it's so but yeah, I'll do like more fit checks when Megan and her friends get here, obviously. But yeah, that's it for today. Well, not today, right now. Cheers, ladies and gents. Wait for me. Wait. I just finished my base. <laughs> Wait, it's not set yet. Oh my as, god, I look pale. As oh. Brianna Chicken Fry once said, she sleep say? when you're fucking dead. Okay. Wait, who set this up? We have a razor. Everybody. Oh, you want to know? Okay, Megan, you go. Ashenators. It's my birthday. There's Ashenators. They're sober. Hold on. Oh shit. It's Ashenators. This shirt is from Forever 21. This skirt is from Shein. These boots are from GSW. I think they're Kelly and Katie, maybe. Um, these earrings are from La Visa, and my jacket is from H&M. Hey, Jackie, go. So, Jackie, go. A shirt is from Nasty Gal. Skirt, Free People. Shoes, Steve Madden. Jacket, Thrift Store. Children's Medium. It's mine. It's Jack's. I got it open the last time. Hey, who wants to go next? Okay. Shoes, Lauren Conrad, earrings, anthropology, pants, free people, shirt, I don't know where. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello. Okay, I got my earrings from Francesca's, shirt from Francesca's, uh, jeans from Target, shoes from Marshalls, and then this is from Charlotte Russe. Is it your outfits for the vlog? Oh, shit. Oh, are we? Or all this do it like this. I don't know where my shit's from, though. Okay. Dress. <laughs> Dress, I think Charlotte Rue. Her jacket. Her. Wait, those are so cute. Tory Burch jacket. 
I don't know. Thanks. Her. Okay, where's your outfit from? I don't know. <laughs> but it's so cute. <laughs> These, I don't where did I get these? These are from. They look like HM or like they Zara. Are, they are. They're, they're so cute. I love acid. Hey vlog. <laughs> We're walking <laughs> to the DL. <laughs> How far are we? Point three miles. We're 0.3 miles away. We're so excited. <laughs> hey vlog. Yesterday was a blur. Got kicked out of the club. Here I am. Vlog. Hi, vlog. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Fit check. This giant essentials hoodie because it's so comfortable and it's so cold out. Sweat pants, Nike blazers. Nike blazers. URI sweatpants. What is this? Justin Escalona hoodie? 1340 Collective. Prada crossbody. Sunglasses for 21. We're gonna go to the bodega and get bacon, egg, and cheeses. Our fucking hotel room is a disaster. And check out that too. What time is it? Not even. It's like 11 40. we got time. And I'm just gonna bring this little purse. But I'm gonna leave vloggy here. And I'll just vlog clips on my phone. And y'all, I literally met my husband yesterday. So. Shout out. Shout out. 
Hey guys, I literally forgot to end the vlog. It is Monday. I don't know why this seems so zoomed in. It is Monday. I am currently unpacking my room. It is a disaster, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this New York City vlog. Make sure to subscribe because I literally want to move to New York City so, so, so soon. I have Rolling Loud content coming up. Oh wait, Eric's calling me. Hello?